how can I like broaden my audience? You're gonna hate this answer. It's very simple. Yeah. It's called. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's your. Oh God, let me do it again. Hey. Okay. I look like a cheese stick. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome to your favorite show ever called the Ask Jade Show. Well. <laughs> I hope it is. Today, we're going to answer your most deepest, darkest questions about social media. I hope you guys enjoy. It's been a while since I did one, and I'm super, I'm super excited to dive in, not only just because I like helping you guys, but I have some cool... I want to try something new with my teaching, so if I freak you out, uh, grab a snack. It's about to be a roller coaster. As we call you guys up, I'm going to give you guys the most value possible, yeah. Also, if you want to know how to be on the next Axe Jade show, all you got to do is keep on watching. <laughs> Hello? 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 Uh, it's your girl Jade. What's up? Uh, hello? Can anyone hear me? This is awkward. Hello? Hi! <laughs> Hi, you're on the Ask Jade show. What's up? What's your name? Where are you from? Hey, I'm Rachel. I am from Fresno, California. I'm in school. Oh my god, you're in school. Love it. I love it when you guys are in school. What's what's up, Marisa? What's what's yeah. what's popping? Like, what can I help you with? I don't even say what's nervous. <laughs> oh my god. No, 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 no. Trust me. I... I'm nervous for you. <laughs> I'm nervous for you. You're about to drop some value for this audience. Okay, so first, you know, I do makeup and stuff, but I'm like kind of confused of how exactly I'm going to bring value. You do makeup tutorials, right? Yeah. That's value. <laughs> Was that your question? <laughs> what's your, wait, what's your goal? Just a career and start making money. Okay, what's holding you back from making money? I don't know, maybe I think because I have... Um, an affiliate code with a brand already. I promoted it, but I haven't got anybody there. Right. How many times have you promoted it? In every single post. Have you seen any results at all? No, I haven't seen any results. So, do you feel like you, what do you lack? What do you think you're missing? I'm not sure. Look at your count. I don't think you're shoving it down anyone's throat, right? So what do you think the problem is? Why people, yeah. Why do you think people aren't taking action? Maybe I should make a one specific post for okay, there you go. Or multiple posts. Okay, there you go. That's that's your answer. But I feel like you don't want that. I feel like you actually want to make money and start your own brand, right? Yeah. And you want to use this affiliate code to kind of backpack onto what you actually want to create, right? Yeah. So let me help you actually create what you want because I think you already know your answer. I feel like you answered your, your own question. Why do? What do you really want to do, like long term? Tell me more about your dream. Well, I want to be a worldwide cosmetic brand. So what I would do? It sounds like to me. You don't actually have a strategy problem. You don't actually have a problem with posting and executing. I think you have a problem of where you want to go, what direction you want to go. You have a theme. You have you actually have a really good theme. You know what to format. You know, it's like makeup tutorials or content. But I don't think you know where the fuck you're going. Like, yeah. like do you, do you exactly know? That's okay, though. Because I think what's going to happen is over time you'll find it. So my biggest advice for you is stop. don't focus so much on making money from right now, like the affiliate. Like, don't worry about that. Why don't you put that aside for a little bit? The next month, just double down on squeezing enough content. Later on, you can monetize. So what I think for you is I think focus is a matter of a problem. You have opportunity. Literally, you can go to any brand. You have great engagement. I'm telling you, you have great engagement. I think you can go to any brand and get the deal you want. If you want sales though, if you want conversions, you have to think a little bit more, you know, like content heavy. Don't even sell anything to anybody. Just give every day. Like every day do a live and ask, hey, what looks do you want to see? Instead of kind of like if making your lash brand integrated, I think you should do reverse for now. And then, then you can actually monetize and get the results. I think right now, I've seen this time to time, but I hope you understand, like, I don't think your, your page is bad. I just think you need to over time evolve um, the direction you want to go in. And if it's creating a brand, you actually don't want to be an affiliate for too long. You don't, you don't want to even do, stay there for too long. If you want to be a business owner, start creating your own brand and just focus on your own content and fans by just only doing content and distribution, less monetization. Right? Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. It's a little confusing, right? You don't know exactly where to go. And yeah. I kind of hear that in your voice. So let me know. My biggest advice, Mauricio, is just to focus and not sell. People forget there's a difference between marketing, right? You're, you're in an entrepreneurship school. Marketing and sales is different. Marketing is branding. It's giving. Sales is like, give me the fucking money, right? So I hope that gives you a little <laughs> difference. So I hope you focus more about marketing. Yes, it's really helpful. Cool, Mauricio. Have the best yeah. day ever. Go back to school. Crush it. All right, I love you guys.
You guys are freaking dope. You, I say this all the time, but I legitimately have the coolest subscribers. Like some of you guys are fucking models, makeup artists, music artists, producers, talented, talented, attractive people that have energy. I love you. I freaking love you. Hey, this is Jade. You're on the Ask Jade Show. Hi. Oh my God. Hey, what's your name and where are you from? So my name is Anna. I am from the Portland area. What's up? What are you currently working on? How can I help you, Anna? So I've been testing out a few things that I've been really interested in and going to be traveling here. I went to Costa Rica and Italy and can do all these different things. One major question and it's how can I like broaden my audience. You know, like I am doing all things like posting consistently and trying to post like quality content that actually helps people like so that they can uh, mm -hmm. travel themselves. Mm -hmm. But how do you reach people outside of just like using hashtags and things like that? Like what mm -hmm. can I do uh, that's, I don't know, like different? <laughs> You're gonna hate this answer. It's very simple. Yeah. It's called Instagram ads and Facebook ads and YouTube ads. So have you tried paid advertising before i haven't but i guess the thing that makes me nervous is like every time i see an ad i just kind of you know scroll past it okay <laughs> let's let's talk about this anna let's talk about it have you ever seen an ad seven times and you got what the fuck this is annoying yes <laughs> you're 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 a girl so i'm sure you saw those ads from glossier right yeah I mean, they, they yeah, keep exactly what you're about. they keep funneling into you every single day. It's like glossier, glossier, but it's actually not bad content. Like it's tutorials and stuff, and it's valuable. So I don't know yeah. about you, but maybe the first time you scroll away because Instagram ads are stupid and you're like what the fuck. But when you see this brand or when you see a profile on your same timeline or explore page, by the tenth time you're gonna follow them. You're curious, right? Is that kind of maybe yeah, you see that? So that's how Instagram ads work. Everyone is confused. Oh. They don't work because I think they're annoying and I tried it maybe once and no one got a click. It's a compounding effect. So what happens is if you decide you really want to take it seriously, set aside, I'm not actually sure, I'd love to know more about your goals, set aside some money for ads. But the problem is everyone quits on it by the first month because I don't see anything. You know, it's kind of scary putting down money you can't see back, but you have to actually believe and it's gonna you're gonna see it back. And um, I'm not sure what your goals are, but to answer your question very simply, I think paid ads, are the best way besides hashtags or organic to grow your account. Okay. Yeah, okay, that's helpful. Yeah, thank you. Any other questions? I want to know more. Like, is it, what do you think is going to hold you back from posting your ad? Like, I'm, I'm, yeah, so I'm working up full time right now until I go to school because this is like a long term goal. And so, yeah, I guess that's like my biggest fear is like investing money in anything. And so, I, but I also know that part of this is just like taking that risk. So, how do you like know when the risk is worth it, I guess? Okay, let me ask you something. So how much does this mean to you? I want to know, like, why did you start? It, why do you start to travel? Like, why? Um, to pay for I it. guess, like, if I could travel, like, like every other week, like, you know, like, or, like, really just as frequently as possible, literally, yeah. like, every week, that would be so amazing. Yeah, no, no, no. no. My question that. for you is private jet or economy? Like, what's your dream? What do you want? Oh, my God. That's such a good question. Like, like, I, mean, I love it. So you probably need around a million dollars to sustain this, like, every other week lifestyle. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. So now, going back, if you want to make a million dollars, you not you have to be comfortable with spending $100,000. Now, let me, let me scale it back. Maybe that's like, what the fuck? So if you want to make $100,000 next year, don't be scared to put down $10,000 a year in ads. So what I'm telling for you is don't go outside and start spending a thousand dollars each month but make a plan to work your way up there and don't be afraid because if you're not willing to put down put down ten thousand in ads and equipment and investing in yourself don't be surprised you're not going to be able to make this instagram thing a thing so if you're willing to take a risk i think for you don't i'm not saying to spend a lot of money right now but plan for yeah. it so whether that means you're going to go to school and you have to work harder and you have to save up like don't no more starbucks um, that's what I would do. And I would start with like hundred bucks, just like maybe 50 bucks even. And then next month, maybe do 200. And no matter what, you're going to push yourself. Even if you don't see results, you're going to make sure you keep posting because this, this sounds like to me, it means a lot to you. Hey, if it doesn't mean a lot to you, you don't have to do this, right? I would rather you keep your money, but since you really want to make it a thing on it, don't be afraid to invest in yourself. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sounds Agreed. good. Okay. okay. Oh, one more thing I want to say. If you have a big goal, spend like you have a big goal, okay? There's a risk in life. If you don't think you're gonna do it, I'd rather have you guys stop right now with this Instagram bullshit. Just stop. <laughs> and to save your money, save your time and effort, go get the job you want.
because if you're not if you're gonna half fast it you're just gonna half like gary vanderchuk says if you half pregnant i love that phrase if you have pregnant yourself between wanting the entrepreneurship lifestyle and just getting a regular system telling you what to do you, you can't have best of both worlds right you can slowly work up to it just don't be afraid of be be willing to fail if there's anything i learned in life my dad, Leon Yi, has taught me willing to fail. I'm gonna actually, before I go to the next call, I'm gonna give you guys a little story. So hang on here, it might be a long one, but it'll really help you. Last year, I took a loan of $3,000 for this fucking camera. You guys are f Um, I was so scared. I don't come from a financially wealthy family. Of course, I have family who are- You have like rich ass grandparents and loaded cousins, but you're like, your your parents, you're like your own house wasn't so filthy. It was me. Um. I couldn't afford a lot, like going to a doctor. But taking a $3,000 loan for a camera, ads, and equipment was a lot. Now, thankfully, I've done this before. I've used to have an e-commerce site, so I took another loan from my parents. Oh, I know what you're thinking. Hey, Jade, what if I don't have parents who support me and give me money? No, bitch, it wasn't like that. I just want to clarify when I say I took a loan. All I did differently this time was do chores and work for my dad's company in order to get money. I didn't get this shit for free, okay? Anyways, proceeding. Because the thing is, with a camera, you can see it. When you have ads, you can't see it. It's not tangible. A lot of you guys are afraid to put that first step down, to buy that coach, to buy that course, to buy that thing you can't see. Because you're like, fuck that. Information's bullshit. Took those $3,000. I didn't see any money. It was gone. Six months, gone. You have to realize, guys, I'm not wise beyond years. I'm like 17. I might be one to one and a half years ahead of you guys, but there's not much difference. The only thing between successful people and not between that famous Instagrammer between you or between anyone else you compare yourself to your own work, it's the willingness to fail and you see opportunity and you actually take action. That's to me and I was, was willing to spend money without seeing results and getting made fun of at school. Even if I didn't have money, even before then I would just take mass 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 loans and work for my friends for free so i could borrow their camera like it's a hustle because you had to fucking want it but if you're willing to look past the fear I i'm telling you fear is a, is inevitable you're gonna feel scared it's just are you willing to even when you feel fear you push through that's my question for you guys today and i'm gonna go to the next caller i know that was super sappy but i'm telling you like i'm 17 and i had a many years of fucking shit just when i decided to believe in myself and double down on my own strengths quit school start a business do youtube full time without giving a fuck of what people said is when i saw the return on investment i found this fidget spinner the other day hello hey you're on the ask jade show what's up oh my god no freaking way i can't i cannot what's your no, name wait, where blake, are you from hold on. What, wait, what? my okay. boyfriend's obsessed with you blake blake <laughs> called me jade from the ask jade show i'm on the ask jade show what's your boyfriend's name blake 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 what's up if you're listening thanks for watching the show i would love to know where are you from what's your name i'm from chicago and my name is yasmin oh cool girl how can i help what's up what's going on i'm a makeup artist yes but I, most of my clientele is local, but I want to expand my reach, but I'm not sure how to post because so many beauty Instagrams are all videos and tutorials and things like that. I'm not sure what content I should post because I know you said to do the 80% 20 rule. So give them 80% of what they want mm -hmm. and then like 20% of what you want. Yes. But like, should I just give them tutorials because that's what they want, even though I'm not selling that because that's not really like my service you know what i'm saying you no know, what's your goal how many clients do you just want to be sold out like what's your what's your goal um i want for i want at least 24 clients a month right now i'm at 12. now i'm on a i actually love makeup i haven't been doing makeup for other people so when you think about doubling your clientele do you think it's do you feel intimidated or do you think i can do this like what's your current feeling about your account i can totally do it mm -hmm. i just I don't know if I'm posting the right content. Like, I don't know if I'm not getting reach because I'm not posting the right content or if I'm not getting reach simply because, like, I don't know enough people. Like, I don't really know exactly so what I'm doing So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna answer that question and, and with, I'm gonna answer that question with another question for you, okay? So, okay. out of content, you know, you know my content, right? Like, I believe in content and distribution. How much time do you spend making the work slash doing the makeup and posting the picture to the ratio of you promoting it, liking,
posting ads, talking about it, and distributing it? Like, what's the ratio, do you think? 80 to 90%, and honestly, distribution and promoting what I actually make is probably like 10 to 15. So I guess I, I guess that's it. <laughs> is that it? So I think you have a distribution problem, not a content problem. So let's fix it. Ready? So your solution, I, you're probably gonna hate this answer, but it's just 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 to distribute it. So for example, if you spend three, four hours, I know like makeup can take like from a simple to a glam look, like it could take hours. You can film a time lapse of it. Maybe that's content. Like I don't think you necessarily have no. bad content. Like you can actually take what you got and just do different angles. Like, you know, you've seen YouTubers, you've seen beauty gurus. I know you know your shit because I can tell your work is very, very like polished and good. And I don't think you have a bad Thank content. You. Of course, girl, like I don't think you have a oh content problem. I think you just have a lack of going out there. So my question for you is, have you run any paid advertising or have you ever reached out just DM one on one slash just kind of hustling through it? Have you done as much of it before? Um, to get my word out, um, it's a lot of like talking to people and trying to meet new people and just like, hey, this is what I do. Here's my business card. Let me know if you have questions. OK, so I'm assuming Chicago is a big city, right? <laughs> so you have a yeah. huge audience. <laughs> And I don't think, I think the fact that you have 12 to 24 won't be a problem. I think you're going to have a struggle, actually, once you implement all the things I'm telling you. You're going to have a problem being sold out from 100 clients a month, right? So that's what I think for you. And if I don't know if you believe that, but I think that's going to be the real problem. Because what's going to happen is, do, do the following, do the following. Take a piece of work and then write on it. Like, you can literally do the Instagram story style when you add the freaking, you know, like when you add the little text on top of it, like you can just add like a bubble. And just be like... Are you, are you having a wedding in Chicago or are you having an event in Chicago? And it's like a picture of before and after type thing. And there's a little text. Then you take that freaking piece of content and show it on a Facebook ad and Instagram to people in Chicago that are getting married. You can literally target that and be like, swipe up, swipe up to watch or swipe up to my website. That makes a lot of sense. I'm going to implement that. Beautiful. 100%. I see you have 32 posts. I love to see triple that by the end of next month. Okay. Okay, got it. All you right. got it. Have the best day ever. Bye-bye. Yeah, I just want to, like, kind of conclude this story, but, like, I don't know if you guys really understand the magnitude and pain. It was to always blame other people. I used to do YouTube for, like, seven years and Instagram. Like, you guys know, like, I've, I've been doing the industry where whether it was selling products on eBay, I always blamed the market. I was like, frick this audience. Like, I'm not getting the likes. No one's watching my videos. No one's doing this. I'm gonna, I, this sucks. Like, whoever made YouTube, screw them. So, in regards to you guys, like, I love you all, but listen right now, no one's ever, ever going to help you out. It's going to be, have to be yourself. It starts with yourself. You need, I know this is different from most of my content. I never get this deep. You need to really look inside yourself and know who you are. What you do is not who you are. You're not a makeup artist. You're not a photographer. You're not an artist. Got it? You are what you are, right? So you are Jade. You are Yasmin. You are Anna. You are Marcio. So if you know who you are and your name, you're not going to fucking, you're not going to fucking, you're not going to fuck around with this shit, right? You're like, whatever it's going to take, I'm going to put down my money. I'm going to put down my time and effort. And I'm going to put content and distribution seriously this time instead of blaming other accounts. So guys, that was today's episode. If you want to be on the next one, the way this works, it's a Google form. Click it below. Check it out. It's actually in my messenger link. I think what you do is you go on the link and then you go to messenger and it has a little button slash menu called sign up for Ask Jade Show. And it's only available certain times. So check it out when it's there. If it's sold out, I apologize. Make sure you turn on the notifications for this channel. Just turn on the little bell so you know when you can be on the next act. Next. Oh! next ask jade show if you have a question i kind of want to know like i'm here the dharma nation's here you're not alone you got a fucking squad behind you that wants to help you grow on social build the brand you want and live the life of your dreams oh that was a, such a good i'll catch you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching like this video and subscribe if you want more see you in the next one goodbye Mwah! shout out to the comment comment on this post to be featured in the next episode